Uh, Anshu, this patient, as I recall, had two brain mets, and um, you know, clearly tr management of brain mets has evolved. Uh, we have data now that targeted therapies may cross the blood-brain barrier and may circumvent the need for radiation. We have some, some soft data on immunotherapy. Maybe it crosses the blood-brain barrier. Your role in managing this, how you manage them, SRS, CyberKnife, um, walk us through that. Uh, sure. So, um, you know, we often will we'll look at this, obviously, patient by patient. And in the, in the upfront setting, uh, if the patient has brain mets on diagnosis, um, and, and certainly I think when you're looking at a case where you're dealing with less than three or, le or fewer METs, um, we'll typically like to at least have uh, evaluation for surgical resection. I think that um, if they can come out, um, that's the best way to go. Um, but more often than not, a lot of these lesions are in eloquent cortex or in other inaccessible places or close to or adjacent to a brainstem, things like that. And, and I think that the, the paradigm has really changed moving away from whole brain radiation therapy, even in the setting of, uh, of three METs. Um, we, we typically favor upfront stereotactic radiosurgery for these patients. Um, in, in experienced hands, it can be done fairly quickly. Um, it results in um, fairly predictable and low rates of toxicity, and, um, and, and I, I think it allows us to keep those options in terms of um, any type of um if, uh, any type of cross-brain barrier activity that a systemic therapy may have. I think we like to think about it more in terms of helping to prevent relapse as opposed to treating existing METs. Yeah. How often do you surveil the brain after you have completed? You talk to your medical oncologist, we've done, you've done the radiation or SRS every three months, every six months. I mean, how often do you do monitor? For, yeah, for, for year one, we like to do every three months okay. uh, MRI surveillance. And, um, and, and that seems to be what, what practice patterns typically bear out as about every, every three months. Months. Now, some, some uh, practitioners will get a, a post-SRS uh, MRI of the brain at six weeks um, and then have that to be a baseline to assess from in the future. Yeah.